in the Hamlet of Grachnov by Muromtel, dot Ilya the old Kazakh. Thirty years he sat by the oven, having use of neither arms nor legs, because of his grandfather's sin. And when thirty years were past, his father and mother went forth to clear the forest girdled meadows, and left Ilya alone in the cottage. Then there came to him three wayfarers, Christ and two of his apostles, in the guise of poor brethren. Welcome, good people. How may I help you? There's kvass in the kettle, but alas, I cannot get it for you. I cannot move. That is not true. Now rise and go fetch us and yourself some drink. Now drink after us, and tell us how you feel. I feel a great strength, as if I could move the earth. Now drink again, and tell us how you feel. I feel a great strength, but only half of what it was. Perfect. Any more strength than the world cannot support you. You are now ready to go out and defend the Christians from the infidels. But be warned, there are three men that are stronger than you. Volgi, Svetogor, and Mikula. Go now to the royal city of Kiev. Ilya left his house and began his journey. First, he walked to his father, who was resting after the work he had done. Ilya began to clear away the trees. Ilya did, in one hour, the work that had taken his father with the labor for more than three days. incredible I I don't have any more work to do and just who did this this is fantastic it was I father that's great you could be a great farmhand and help us I cannot be a farmhand father I must go to Kiev and protect Christianity. Ilya strode far and met the peasant with a thin, weak foal. How much for that foal, good sir? For this foal, one grieve of silver. It may seem a bit much, but a uh, man has to eat. Thank you. Thank you. Godspeed. And so Ilya took care of the foal for three months, feeding it with the best hay and the water from the best springs. And after these three months, he put three drops of dew on the horse.
after he had done this, he took the foal to a field and rode on it with great ease, as it had become a great steed. Ilya came to a pavilion of white cloth with a bed inside, and lay down and quickly fell asleep. And then Ilya hid his horse and himself into the woods. Out. I can see you. If you do not come out, I will wake Svetogor, and you will not like that. Who are you? I am Ilya Murom. I will take you with us. Shouldn't you be strong enough to hold just me and my I wife? I am, but there's an extra hero in your pocket. There is? What trickery is this? How could you have done this? Are you interested in other men other than me? For this you must be banished. Who are you? I am Ilya of Murom, and I am traveling to Kiev to protect Christianity and defeat the infidels. In regards to that, we are alike. Come with me, brother, and together we shall go to Kiev. But first, we must go visit my father. Ilya and Svetogor rode far together. Svetogor taught Ilya all of the heroic customs and traditions along the way. Ilya and Svetogor reached the holy mountain and made their way to reach Svetogor's blind father. Ilya, I will introduce you to my father, but when we get there, you must give him a piece of iron. You must not give him your hand.
My son, is that you? Yes, it is. Where have you been? I have been in Holy Russia. And what have you seen and heard? Nothing, but I have brought home a hero. Bring him to me, that I may meet him. Ilya, come and meet my father. In the meantime, Ilya had heated a piece of iron in the fire and gave that piece of iron instead of his hand. What stout hands you have. You must be a mighty hero. While Ilya and Svyatogor walked around the holy mountain, they saw a coffin, and on this coffin was written, This coffin shall fit him who is destined to lie in it. Ilya decided to lie in the coffin as a jest, but it was too big. Then Sviatogor lay in it. And it was perfect. Ilya, cover me with a lid to this coffin, for I am destined to lie in it. Brother, I will not cover you. No. You know, this isn't funny, you preparing to entomb yourself. Brother, I cannot lift the lid. Please help me. Take my great battle sword and break this lid. I cannot lift it, brother. Come here, so that I may breathe unto them my mighty heroic breath. I am dying, Ilya. Come down here again so I may breathe my breath again. My strength is enough, brother. Any more on the earth would not be able to hold me. You have done well, brother. If you had obeyed my last command, I would have breathed the breath of death and you would be lie dead next to me for all of time. But now, farewell. Take my great battle sword, but tie my great steed next to my coffin, for no one else may possess that horse. <laughs>